Prime Minister Dr. Keith Mitchell issued a warning to the Grenadian people Monday night during the delivery of a national address that failure to adhere to the regulations implemented to curb the further spread of COVID-19 could lead to stricter measures. Last night, he reiterated government's implementation of a curfew, which took effect 8 p.m. Monday night until 5 a.m. daily for the next 14 days in the first instance. We are making a concerted effort to avoid implementing tougher restrictions on the population at this time. Therefore, I urge all citizens to recognize your individual responsibilities to protect yourselves and your loved ones. The grim reality is that if a significant difference is not observed within the next week or two, with respect to the rate of infections, government will be forced to resort to a 24-hour lockdown. This is what none of us want. Prime Minister Mitchell said the true extent of the crisis we face may still be unknown. Health officials have explained that based on the estimated window of exposure, many persons are possibly in the incubation stages of any potential infection, and therefore, we must await their testing on the scientifically appropriate day to better determine the magnitude of the cluster. He noted that this will have an impact on the festive season. I, as Prime Minister of this beautiful country, with responsibility for the safety of thousands of people, it is incumbent upon me to minimize any potential threat to the population. It is with a heavy heart that I make tonight's announcement to impose a nightly curfew. I'm not the Grinch that stole Christmas. I'm the leader who is trying to ensure that we protect ourselves now to have a chance of celebrating future Christmases together. 2020 has been a painful year, filled with uncertainty, anxiety, frustration, and even despair for all. The new regulations will not have an impact on the operations of the church. As a Christian society, and in acknowledgement of the fact that churches have consistently adopted the recommended protocols, we thought it important to allow our citizens the opportunity to participate in their religious traditions. That said, we call on all religious leaders to be very strict in implementing the COVID-19 protocols at your respective churches. Our priority at all times must be protecting the, the safety of all citizens of our country. Cherry and Blackman Stephen, GBN News.